Let me sign it. Mr. Nomini, uh, the next nominee, the one before us now, is Honorable Barista Bello Muhammad, a nominee from Sakota State. Mr. Nomini, you may wish to introduce yourself to the uh, August Senate. Excellency, the Senate, uh, the President of the Senate, principal, uh, principal officers of the Senate, distinguished senators, good afternoon to you all. My name is Bello Muhammad. I was born in Sabongarindoli village area of Goronyo local government of Sokoto State. I had my primary, secondary, and tertiary education in Sokoto State. And after my completion of LLB at the Osman Damfodio University, Sokoto, I proceeded to Nigeria Law School, Buari Abuja, where I was called to the Nigerian Bar in 2001. I had both political, legislative, executive, and judicial sojourn because I was elected into the Sokoto State House of Assembly from 2007 to 2015, where I served as minority leader, as deputy leader and Deputy Speaker of the Sokota State House of Assembly. Later, in 2015, I served as a commissioner in various ministries in Sokoto State, ranging from solid minerals, uh, energy, and information. Your Excellency, distinguished senators, I'm a party man because I started as a secretary, a party secretary in my local government, and rose up to the zonal secretary of the Northwest Zone of the All Progressive Congress, the APC. I mean the ruling APC. And then I'm the director. I was the director of youth mobilization Northwest Zone for the Ashwaju Shatima Presidential Campaign Council. Uh, I served in various committees in the House, and then I'm a member of various associations, youth clubs, organizations, to mention just a few. Your Excellency, Mr. Senate President, distinguished senators, I'm widely traveled and I'm happily married with four kids. Thank you for this opportunity and I want to express my sincere gratitude to His Excellency, Mr. President, Ashwa Jibola Ahmed Tunubu for nominating me to serve as a minister if confirmed by this hallowed chamber. Thank you and God bless. This is Mr. Tumble. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I am Amin Waziri Tambol, representing Sokoto South Senatorial District. From the presentation of the nominee, if you may recall, 
he had mentioned, or he did mention, that he served as a member of the Executive Council of Sokoto State from 2015 to 2018. And that was during my tenure, my first term as governor of Sokoto State. He has been my younger colleague at the bar, and we have worked closely with him at various times. And I believe that he fits the bill and he can do the job. I therefore recommend him highly to this Senate for confirmation. Thank you very much. No, that is, we're talking about Nigeria. Talking about Nigeria. And I commend him, I commend him for, for, for that uh, testimony. That, that is Nigeria. It shows that, it shows that he puts politics aside. Yeah. Senator Blendingi. Mr. President, sitting as a chair, my name is Senator Abdul Ninji, and I represent Bauchi Center of Bauchi State. Mr. Chairman, let me congratulate the nominee, my dear younger brother, for this very important nomination. Perusing through your biodata, you could see on page two, positions held are responsibilities. Number two, you were chairman transportation committee in Saudi Arabia for the Hajj 2015. Uh, operations in Mecca, you were in Arafat, Mustafa, Mina, and Mecca. And going further, you are also a member Hajj reception committee 2008 to 2010. You are also a member of the Screening and Plan Schedule Committee 2012, 2013, 2014. I'm also a member of the 2015. This has given me an idea of the kind of person you are. And having gone through these exercises, you must understand like myself and many others, the problems of Nigerians in Saudi Arabia. First, Nigerians occupy the last point, even within the African settings in MENA. Over the last decade or so, Nigerians have found it almost impossible to belong to the Committee of Nations during Hajj exercises. The hard exercise over the period of time has become very, very terminal and not something any Nigerian will be proud of, particularly what happened in this year's exercise. You recount quite a lot of problems with Nigerians that has to do with transportation, has to do with accommodation, that has to do with feeding, and that has to do with even running battle with the Saudi authorities. If Eventually, this house clears you, and the president and commander in chief, by his leave, <coughs> appoints you as a foreign affairs minister. What, in your experience, will you do in order to bring succor to Nigerians that live in a very terrible situation year in, year out? And secondly, Will you also recommend the complete delisting of the Hajj Commission and probably giving the state powers to be able to organize their separate Hajj exercises? That is my question for you. Senator, Senator Jimmy Ibrahim, the last one, because uh, we need to uh, quickly move forward. Thank you very much, my very distinguished Senate President, sitting as uh, chair. Congratulations, Mr. Nominee. My name is uh, Jimo Ibrahim Folonsho. I represent Ondo South Central District. 
I'm also a lawyer like yourself, about 32 years in the bar. Let me focus my question, Mr. Senate President, to the nominee on the state of insecurity. You are from Sokoto State, and you know that one of the major problems facing our nation today is challenges of insecurity. For example, let's take the issue of insurgency in one of the regions in Nigeria, which has got the federal government $1.2 trillion. That is twice the size of our GDP. The nation GDP is $505 billion. In one insurgency, we have spent $1.2 trillion. Now, that is not it. This insurgency also distilled to other regions in Nigeria. If the Mr. President decides to make you Minister of, uh, of, of Defense, for example, you do know very well that all efforts to solve this insurgency have been proven very stubborn to all solutions. For example, in the Northeast, the insurgency is now 20 years old and is still there. Now, how will you advise the Defense Ministry or our very loyal soldiers how to handle this insurgency problem? In Sanfara, this morning, they were attacked on about 300 something people. Now, this is just repeating itself across the country. As Minister of Defense, Mr. Nomini, how will you advise the President who has spent two times of Nigeria's economic size in fighting one insurgency in one region out of six regions in Nigeria? And insurgency is still percolating and distilling to the entire Nigeria nation. Thank you very much. I have asked my question. Uh, the uh, Abba. Mr. President, I am Aminu Yabas at the Central. Mr. President, I want to plead with distinguished senators if there is no objection. We should allow the nominee to answer the two questions asked and take a bow and leave because he served as a member also in the State Assembly and even as a Deputy Speaker of the State Assembly. <laughs> Mr. President, I am on the floor, please. I am on the floor. I say if this distinguished senator holds no objection. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Sars. Sirs, sitting as chair of the House of the Committee, I noticed that uh, my name is Shoeba Falabi Salisu. I represent proudly the good people of Ogun Central. The nominee has masters in energy security management, and you also serve as honorable commissioner for energy development in Sokoto State. There's a near consensus that our country is going through energy crisis. What will you do as a member of Federal Executive Council to ensure that the energy requirement of this country that will allow small and middle scale enterprises to grow, that will allow for improved quality of life, that will also ensure that Nigeria attain its full potential. What will you do? What will your background with masters in energy security, how will it help the country? This is Senator Orwell. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, the nominee, first I want to congratulate you upon your being nominated by the president to be part of his cabinet. And I've taken time 
to go through your resume. I would like you to go back to your academic qualification. I've been looking for your school cert. I saw one. You sat for five subjects with two credits. I don't know how. I want to imagine that you still have another to bring. If not, I would want you to explain how you got into university with that. Thank you. Yes, the, the nominee. Your Excellency, Mr. President of the Senate, Principal Officers of the Senate, Distinguished Senators, I would like to answer these questions from the last one, if the Senate permit. Sir, on the issue of uh, qualification, I have other secondary school results which I have all passed that I have not attached to my CV because we are talking of secondary school certificate. And I want to remind distinguished senator, which I know he very much know that the qualifications of secondary school certificate as enshrined in the constitution, you can stand for an election up to the presidential election. So I didn't bother you with much, much, much certificates, but I know I have the qualification for that. Okay, sir. You are saying that you chose what to give to the Senate. You chose the qualification to bring before the Senate because of the constitutional provision that uh, a secondary school certificate is what is required to stand for election. You are not coming to stand for election. You are coming to be a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So which are the other certificates you concealed? Which are the other certificates that you did not put in your CV? Your Excellency, sir, the certificate of secondary school is there and the other certificates of other qualifications are there. What he is asking me is I said my first sitting was secondary school certificate with two credit passes. And what I'm trying to say is that I have sat for another examination and I have passed, but I don't want to attach another qualification because Because, because... Well, yeah, I think um, it's not just for this nominee. It's important for all other nominees to know that we would like to know something about them in totality, including the number of children they have. Yes, including the number, yes? Including the number of wives, the number of children. It's, Nigerians have a right to know their ministers. The international community has a right to know their ministers. So please, I don't, I don't think it's, uh, it's, you don't choose and pick. So we will give, uh, we'll give the nominee time to bring the other certificates to circulate, but not necessarily appearing again before us. Uh, but, so we, I want to thank you for uh, what you have done. I, I don't think you need to go further, but every certificate that you have, make copies of a clerk. He will come and see you. He will give you copies of the other certificates so that you can attach. So you can take a bow.
Dizzy Senator Governor Badaro, please.